Hi there, this is the Violet Ray. It's a therapeutic device of the 1930s. It was invented around 1890s by Nikola Tesla, where in the meantime, two researchers in France, Paul uh, Houdin and Jacques Darsonval, were working on similar things. As I said, it's a medical device, it's electric, it's a knob you hold in your hand, and then there are these electrodes which you apply on the top, and I'll show in a short time what they do. There are here three original models, old models. This is a WAPA, a German company, I think. This is a Geisler, certainly German. This is Mobile, I think Swiss. And this is a modern version. It's, uh, it's Chinese and it's uh, presently sold in beauty centers to get rid of wrinkles. So that's basically the only thing for which it is still sold today. Uh, whereas in, in older times, when they, these were produced, there was a whole list of things, of uh, the, um, conditions which were supposed to be cured by using these devices. You probably never heard of them because around the 1940s and 1950s, the American government and the FDA sued a lot of the companies that were producing them, uh, forcing them to close down, and so you, they were basically forgotten. A few companies still produce them, a Chinese company I found, a, a Ukrainian company I found, and there's other small producers, but basically we don't hear of it anymore. And what you have is just a, a box. This is the generator, the handle, and the electrodes and the box was more expensive the more electrodes you want so that one is going to be a very expensive one this is probably a cheaper one and uh, all right i think that's about everything i would not recommend the chinese ones because i bought two of them they're quite cheap around 30 40 dollars for for the, the handle plus three electrodes but both basically broke down so I cannot really use them anymore. This one still works. We'll see what we can get out of it. The other one really doesn't do anything anymore. So let's see how they work. So I take an electrode, I put it in. This is a very pointy one. So it's supposed to be used to treat very localized conditions. I turn it on, it makes this buzzing sound. And uh, you can see that this one is quite weak, but there's a, like a ray coming out. A violet ray, the way it is called. Then you have other electrodes. This one, for example, is uh, for, for the head, for the hair. Because the violet rays was claimed to also help for <clears throat> hair loss and baldness. So this is supposed to be, you should comb your hair with this thing. Then we have more uh, general purpose electrodes like this one. This is just supposed to be used to treat an area. There's even one to breathe ozone, because basically when you have these sparks in the air, this generates ozone, which is the same smell when there's a, a thunderstorm that you smell in the air. And this is, uh, ozone is one of the most powerful antiseptic in the world, so uh, that's why it's supposed to, to kill all bacteria on your hands or wherever you use it. And this is for, for breathing it. So you're supposed to turn it on and there's a, a chamber and then I go like this. And there's a slight taste of a ozone, which is not really pleasant, but supposed to kill a lot of bacteria. And there's a, a very powerful one. This makes quite strong sparks because it's supposed to be used to 
to warts and stuff like that to, to destroy them. And you can feel it pretty strong on the finger. I've had worse ones. This one's not that bad. And just to show you, now I go to the other one. And this one works as well. No, it doesn't work. Why? Okay. There's a quite different sound actually, but the final result is about the same, as you can see. There's still some blue light coming out and going to my body. And this one is one that I need to repair, the cable is, uh, is broken. So I just left it open to show that if you buy uh, an antique one and uh, you probably most of the times have to uh, substitute the condenser. This is a new condenser which I switched from this one which was the old condenser. And this one is really old technology, it's full of wax and, and whatever, aluminum paper. And I just kept it because it's historical, but I switched with this one, so it works a little bit better. And on this one, we can see the spark gap. Basically, we have a Tesla coil here. There's another coil inside the handle, if I can get it out. It's all full of wax and stuff like that, really old technology. And um, so uh, I turn it on, but I don't have to touch it because it's not really isolated. So we can see the spark and the spark gap. Uh, this one. And there's the spark. I get a little bit closer so we can really see it well. That's the spark gap, which is generating basically the high frequency impulses. Okay, let's just see everything one more time with a little bit less light, so you can see the working electrodes better. Now if I take a general purpose electrode, you can see that you just use it on the surface of your body wherever you have a, a condition that you need to treat and just move it around something like this. That's what you're supposed to do. And not actually not for long period of times because the machine should be used maximum 10 minutes at a time because it heats up quite fast because of the spark gap. Or if I take a more pointy electrode like this one, this concentrate the rays so you can really see, see some, some sparks coming out, but I don't really feel much. It's not really that it hurts, you just feel a little bit. And there's another electrode which is quite strong, even if not the kosherizing electrode. This one starts to feel quite strongly, but not really that it hurts, but it's not pleasant at all.
So that's about it. What I can add is that I have been using it for some time, not really uh, on momentary problems, but more on long-term problems. I have had a friend who has used it for, for the wrinkles in the face and she said that after a month it actually helped a little bit. And another person whom I know pretty well has had very good results for backache. So it's something you have to experiment with. It used to be quite a common thing back in the 30s. It has completely disappeared. We know the reason why, because there, there were causes and any kind of suing against uh, the companies who were producing them. So maybe not everything that they were saying is true, but maybe it's not even completely useless. So I would, if anybody is interested in these kind of things, why not buy one and try it and see if it helps in some conditions. I don't have enough experience to say it really does, but trying doesn't do any harm to anyone. Okay, have a nice evening. Bye.